Are you a fan of hip hop? If so, well, I am too. And I love it whenever comics and hip hop cross over and whatever it is, whatever may be happening. I just really love it. And I really want to see more of it. But what exactly is the relationship between comics and hip hop? Hey guys, I'm Joe. Now this isn't an hour long PBS documentary, so I'm only going to be giving brief moments in history of when the culture of hip hop and the culture of comics clashed to make amazing things happen that maybe some of you don't even know about. I mean, hip hop and comics have a noteworthy relationship. A lot of brilliant rappers have obtained their names and image through comic book influence such as MF Doom, Jean Grey, David Banner, and many more. But if you dig even deeper, hiding behind personas, not only masks, you'll notice our modern day heroes are not only the ones fighting crime, but they're also dropping albums. Comic books have entertained the old and the young, feeding their imaginations and helping people embrace creativity. Before, comic books were usually associated with nerds and geeks. I say before mostly because I feel it's become mainstream to like all this superhero stuff, especially because of the movies. But back then, when it was like that, Hip hop was the cool thing to like, and it still is, let's be honest. <laughs> but the reason I bring this up is because no matter how nerdy it was before to like comic books, they would always overlap with hip hop more than people knew. In fact, Daryl McDaniels from Run DMC has his own comic publishing house. Under the Daryl Makes Comics umbrella, he released a full length graphic novel titled DMC Number no. 1, based around the idea that Daryl never joins Run DMC, but Moonlights as a tracksuit wearing crime fighter that spends his days teaching junior high English. One look at the awesome cover and you know it's a hip hop fictional fantasy. Can you imagine a superhero wearing steel toed adidas? Fighting crime with a gold plated four finger DMC ring? It's awesome to see Daryl blend his passions together and that's something I wish we could see more of. I also have to mention Eric Orr who created Rappin' Max Robot, the first rapping comic. In 1986, the hip hop culture was very different than from what it is today and Eric understood that hip hop had a connection with the spirit of comics. Everything from fantastical identities to club flyers were inspired by the comic culture. His knowledge and love of both worlds inspired him to bridge the two creating a 12 page 500 copy self distributed comic that was placed in record stores in various comic shops around New York City. In fact, he also followed up issue number one with two special editions. And even though Rapid Max was just a small project, it opened the door for bigger graphic novel projects with record labels and even Maxwell Robot comic that ran in Rap Masters magazine. Hip hop and comics can't be boxed in. There's too much creative energy to have it wasted stuck behind a bunch of stereotypes. The only way these cultures will continue to expand and inspire is if they mix and mingle with other cultures. There are so many moments I didn't even get to cover such as Eminem being on the front cover with Iron Man and in a comic with the Punisher, Wu-Tang's Wu Massacre comic, the great comics that never were but should have been Wu-Tang meets the Justice League and plenty more and there are also a lot of pretty cool notable crossovers that you should probably check out. Hopefully, even more rappers will begin to see the possibilities of crossing into the comic culture. Heck, we need Kendrick Lamar meets Bruce Wayne or Squirrel Girl meets Tyler the Creator. Whatever it is, I'm down for it. Also, if you didn't know, Marvel is doing a month of hip hop covers with their all new all different Marvel after Secret Wars has ended. A lot of the covers have been revealed and they look awesome. Of course, I can't show every single one of them because there is a lot, but I do like the ASAP Rocky Captain America one, the Wu-Tang Squadron Supreme one, and also the DMX X-23 cover. What about y'all? If you're a fan of hip hop, what hip hop artists slash rappers would you want to see cross over to the world of comics and what heroes would they cross over with? Even if you're not a fan of hip hop, what are other cultures you would like to see crossover? Could it be sports? Could it be from other genres of music? Whatever it is, make sure to comment down below and I'll see you next time.